in this video, we're going to look at the new LTX 0.9.8. As you can see right over here, the digital affiliate version. So as you can see, this is the workflow. And this is the video we're going to take. So in this, we're going to use the upscaler as well, the new 0.9.8. And we have the uh, control net models as well. As you can see right over here. But before then, we'll go to the Hugging Face website. And as you can see, type in LTX video. So over here, you can find the new LTX versions. I'll give the link down below. And as you can see, 0.9.8. And we're going to use the partial upscaler as well in this workflow only. So as you can see, this is the workflow. So the prompt is girl walking on the beach. Simple. And this is the image that we're going to take. So this is the video that we got. So for LTX, I think it's the quickest, but it's not the best. I don't think it's the, it works for me. I think the van is so much better. And even Hanwai is better than LTX. So the LTX doesn't make that great of videos. And I think if you're going to try, just try it. But if you want to create much better images, try the van. It's very good in my opinion. So as you can see, this is the video that we got. And I'm using the Euler Ancestral in this. And as you can see, this is the upscaler over here. So this is the upscaled version. Looks good, but not that great or anything to get even excited about. So as you can see, this is the upscaler. The new one, the spatial upscaler 0 0.9.8. Uh, this one. Uh, right over here. You can use the temporal as well. But I use the spatial because I like that one better. So, oh, I'm using the control net deep canny one. As you can see right over here. Sorry, just the depth one. So, as you can see right over here. If you want to switch between the control net models, you can. So as you can see, the value is one. So we are using the depth control. If you want to use the pose one, you can use two. Or if you want the canny one, then you can use three in the value. So now we will just use the canny one and I'll show you guys. So uh, with the same prompt, with the same models, and everything else is the same. So as you can see, this is the video that we got. Not much has changed. So this is the uh, upscaled version of the video. And as you can see right over here, this is the canny right over here. Okay. So now let's take another example. As you can see, this is the video that we're going to take. I just made a mistake. I didn't change the image size and everything. So the video came out to be a little weird. And this is the prompt. Girl holding her arms and everything. And this is the photo that we're going to take. So as you can see right over here so this is the video that we got so as you can see it is working it's not that great as compared to van or hanoi but it gets the job done so it's i'm using this one right over here so as you can see so now i'll choose the other control net and show you another example so as you can see this is the video that we got 
mm-hmm. doesn't look that great but still it it is working i think it looks a bit cartoonish as well not this including this video and everything else i don't know looks animated or something not realistic at all i have even typed realistic but it doesn't work accurately sometime it does but sometime it doesn't so we can take that video and the girl smiling and waving her hand this is the prompt that we're going to take so for this prompt i chose euler so as you can see it's the same photo and this is the photo that we got looks decent the control net is working we can't say about the images if you want really good or precise images then my advice would be use the same uh height and the width images that would be way better than this so as you can see this is what we got okay so let's end the video right over here if you guys like this video then do please like comment and subscribe on my channel and go and give a follow on my patreon as well it's absolutely free so okay